What's up, YouTube? It's Pro Play Games here at ARG Orlando with the Michael State Top Four at USA Nats. What were you? What'd you do today, man? Uh, I top eight at the ARG One K today. I was not playing meta. I played to have fun, but what DC, were you playing? Minerva. 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 With repping, some spice. Repping that top four prize card. All right, let's yeah. see. Let's check out the deck list, man. All right. So one of the most important monsters in the deck, Goblinberg. It allows this and any level four monster to become Minerva. And it's searchable by Rhoda, so it's broken. Uh, the Light Swarms, three Raiden, allows you for some mills. It's a tuner and it's a warrior's, other searchable by Rhoda. Um, three Wolf and two Fleece, so your Minerva gets value. And like, you mill them off a of Raiden. Um, it's, just, it's really sacky. I, I just like the deck as a sacky, to be honest. Um, two Lumina. Um, three isn't like needed because like you don't want to like leave rank three on board. You can't like do anything with them other than summoning Dante. Uh, two Lila against Domain Monarchs in case they went first and uh, set up a domain. And it's just really good and it's a spellcaster. A lot of the cards are spellcaster, which uh, it'll be with a card that I'll show you in a second. Uh, two non prize card Minerva. <laughs> uh, this is the last minute edition. It's just a level three tuner so I can synchro with uh, Gem Knight, Seraph Knight. Uh, for Omega, if I have it on board, just chilling. And it's a spellcaster. Uh, one Aaron. Uh, I tech this because against Prime Monarch, Beatrice, there's a lot of monsters left in defense mode, and this card just outs them outright. And it's searchable by Rhoda, so it's really good. Uh, one Garnet. I wish I played two because I drew Garnet a lot, but I ended up putting it to the graveyard and shuffling it back anyway, so it wasn't that big a problem. But I would play two in the future. Now, Spice, two Trick Clown and two Chocolate Magician Girls. This card came out from the, the movie pack. Uh, it works with the spellcasters in the deck, specifically Trick Clown. Its effect is you discard a spellcaster and draw a card. So you just draw these two, summon this, discard Trick Clown, draw a card, summon Trick Clown, and instant Minerva. Nice, so this is from the new movie pack also. Yeah, it also has a secondary effect. If it's attacked, you special on the spellcaster from the graveyard, make that new spellcaster the attack target, and the attacking monster's attack is half. So like, they can't just attack over it. They have to like, destroy it or like bounce it with a card effect. So it's really good. That rounds up the monsters. Spells, three billion fusion, one of your key startup cards. Uh, it allows you to go wolf, uh, trick clown. It just sets up a lot of plays. And the extra normal summon is really important. Uh, two charge, three solar recharge, lights one deck, do the math. Uh, three instant fusion. Uh, you need to draw this card. Like It gets milled a lot, so uh, you want to see it as much as possible. And you can put it back with uh, Emerald, so you can resolve it multiple times. What are your targets for the instant fusion? Uh, just Norden. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can resolve it multiple times, and it gets milled, so like having three in the deck isn't a problem. Okay. And you can put, recycle the Norden, too. Yeah. Sackiest card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now, Soul Charge. That card is so good. What's a Light Sworn deck without Soul Charge? Right? The sackiest card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. Uh, Rhoda to search for all the Warriors, and Goblin Bird, and Foolish Burial. And then the Traps, play three Anti-Spell. <laughs> three Anti-Spell in the main board. Yeah, I, I figured there was a lot of Pendulums running around, and it definitely was a Pendulum uh, event. I ran into four Pendulums out of my six matches. I would set up boards with Anti-Spell set, and Minerva, Emerald, Omega, and Stardust Spark. So it's just out of protection for the card. And it's just outright blows out Magician Pendulum. So they can't even play the game. And you just outright OTK the next turn. It's really good. That's a 40 card deck. Uh, side deck. Uh, two Vanity's Fiend against Blue Eyes if I end up going first. Uh, this card just outright destroys them. And they won't know what to side against it. So I, it's, it's really interesting. But this card just outright destroys uh, Blue Eyes. Um... Three Ghost Reaper against BA if they go first. That's one of the next hardest matchup, BA, uh, if they open up well enough. And I don't get a way to search for Aaron, because that, that card is too good. Uh, two Twin Twister. Um, it also helps discarding like Wolves and Fleeces and actually Trick Clowns from the hand. So, and it just hits back backer against Demise. Uh, Raigeki against uh, Domain Monarchs mainly. And Cosmo if you have Dweller. So I sided in against every Cosmo because of Dweller. Uh, three Masker Strike. I feel like counter uh, continuous traps, uh, floodgates are really good in this deck because you can make Starter Spark and protect it. It's just really strong against Monarchs in general. Uh, two Full House against Demise, and then another Spice card in the side deck. Double Magic Drain. Ooh, the Spice. What does this card do? Uh, it negates a. It's a counter trap. It negates a spell card activation. 
unless your opponent discards another spell card. So I guess the Pendulum deck, they, they can't discard Pendulum monsters since they're monsters in the hand. So like, just a Twin Twister uh, for the anti-spell, you chain this, it, it just stops it really. And it's also good against Demise, because it's not, it, this card is so broken against Demise. Like, they have no cards in the hand, so they can't pitch, it's an auto negate against Demise. 15 side, the extra, one Minerva. The most important card in the whole entire deck. Absolutely. The card is just too good. It's a light torn itself. Yep. Uh, Utopia, Utopia the Lightning. I borrowed it from my boy Trey. Uh, but Shouts out to Trey. Yep. Um, yeah, some of this against my last round uh, against Cosmo. Outright won me the match. Uh, Trapeze Magician, since there are a lot of spellcasters in the deck, it seems good. And if it gets destroyed, you can actually special summon uh, from Trick Clown from the deck. Uh, Dweller against Cosmo and BA. Uh, Emerald, Justin Rios. Just Emerald Recycle, um, Nordens and Gem Knights, Bergen, uh, Castell, uh, just overall rank four. And Dante for the cherries and just for the fact if you open if you have like Minerva. Yeah. 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 Sinkers, <coughs> Scarlight, Michael. Start a spark, protect the uh, floodgates in the deck. Uh, double Omega. I summon Double Omega almost every game. If I open up like one, one instant fusion and a brilliant fusion, this card is just dumb. And I would like, I would summon one, banish, and then summon another one, and then just uh, send the card I banished with the first one back to the graveyard, so they won't add it back, and mine still gets some of the field. It's really good. And then two fusions, uh, Nordin and Seraphine. That's the deck. Oh, thank you very much, Dave.